This is not what we were hoping for for Christmas. With the current surge of cases of um, the coronavirus, we are feeling somewhat hopeless. Maybe I'm projecting, but maybe you can relate to this too. This was not the Christmas we were hoping for. And yet, I remain hopeful. Here's why. I'm hopeful because of the people that I work with at Come to Believe. I have extraordinary colleagues, women and men, who are so dedicated to the cause of making a high quality, higher educational experience more affordable, more accessible to more deserving students. I'm also hopeful because we have assembled an outstanding board of trustees this year at Come to Believe. Women and men who are talented, who are accomplished, and who are very generous, very helpful in the decision-making and the leadership of our new startup of our 501c3 to replicate what was done at Arupe College at Loyola University of Chicago and at the Doherty Family College at the University of St. Thomas. I'm hopeful too because throughout 2021, courageous and visionary university leaders from around the country have been approaching us, excited about our model, wanting to learn more, wanting to make more opportunities available for students, for commuter students at their campuses. And then finally, I'm so hopeful because Arupe and Doherty Family College had graduations this year. Despite everything, despite this crazy and challenging year, more and more young people have completed associate degrees at our model colleges, and they're going on to the best chapters, the next best chapters of their lives. So, in spite of all of the reasons to be hopeless, I remain hopeful. Hope is a virtue, and it's also future-oriented. And so as I look to the future of 2022, I see more Come to Believe colleges opening. That is our aspiration. That is the virtue of our work. Finally, I'm very hopeful because of all of you. You've been so supportive and so interested in our work during 2021, despite the challenges that you have been facing uh, in your families, in your professional lives, in your communities, and because of the pandemic. In spite of that, you are very much part of the Come to Believe community, and I take great hope in that. Please know that I'm hopeful now for you, for your families, for a safe and healthy Christmas season, for a happy new year, for a 2022 filled with God's best gifts. That's what I'm hoping for you. That's what I'm praying for you. Thank you, and God bless you.